Hello everyone, and welcome to another exciting edition of Box Breaks with Bruce. Over the next few days, we'll be opening up four boxes of 0910 Between the Pipes, still my favorite product of all time, as well as a box of ITG Ultimate 9th Edition. It's a super high-end product, comparable in uh, price to a tin of the cup. Today, however, we're going to get the ball rolling by opening up a bunch of loose packs of cards, tempting our fate with as random as you can get. We'll be opening up 10 packs of 20... I cannot remember if it's 11, 12, or 12, 13 Crown Royale. Uh, one pack of 2015, 16 Upper Deck Artifacts. That's, of course, the McDavid rookie year. Um, four packs of 0506 Upper Deck Series 1, tracing that Sid the Kid Young Guns rookie. And then 15 packs of 14, 15 Upper Deck Series 1. Of course, we're hunting for the Dreisaitl Young Guns. Warm ourselves into those bigger box bricks coming up in the next few days here. Without further ado, let's get ready for box breaking. And of course, Urbe is going to be freed up here shortly so he can nod at the hits, whether or not they are worth it or not. So what we're going to be starting with is our 2015-16 artifacts. And McDavid, I believe, is only a redemption in this long expired, but who knows what else we might be able to hit out of this. Get ourselves into a good angle here so I can open nice and clean. Okay, Adam and Henrique, base. Leon Dreisaitl, base. Ryan Kessler, base. And we have parallel number 969 of 999, Zach Parise. Urbe's verdict on our Zach Parise. No, we're hunting for so much more, but so is the gamble when it comes to loose packs of cards. All right, let's move on to, let's do our Sidney Crosby ones. Yeah, yeah, let's have a little bit of fun and suspense with these. Oh man, nice strong packs. We have Dick Tarnstrom, Keith Kachuk, hate handling the cards like these, but it's kind of difficult with, again, my angle I'm sitting on. Um, Riku Hall. Hometown Heroes of Mario Lemieux. Alexander Digg. Yeah, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. It's easier. Um, Chris Drury. Patrick Stefan. Jonathan Chichu. And... Hockey scrapbook insert of Jeremy Roenick. Nothing for Urbe to judge in this. These are just regular inserts in these packs. But all I can say is, let's go Sidney Crosby. Give me a pleasant surprise. Okay, we've got Rico Fata. Richard Zednick. Kyle McLaren. Mark Denis. Olaf Kolzig, Eric Cole, Brendan Witt, Patrick Laleem, and Hockey Scrapbook of Marion Gaderick. Jeff Halpern, Backlab Verada, Michael Nylander, Jason Smith, Nicholas Lidstrom, Ilya Kovalchuk, Brad Richards, Shane Doan, and Hockey Scrapbook of Jerome Aginla. Ouch, no young guns. Doesn't look like Sid the Kid is coming out to play today. Oh well. Patrice Bergeron, Barrett Jackman, Pierre Marc Bouchard, School of Hard Knocks of Chris Simon, Manny Malhotra, Frederick Modine, Todd Marchant, Jeff Friesen, and Hockey Scrapbook of Ilya Kovalchuk. All that was disappointing was hoping for a Sid the Kid in there. Oh well. Again, what are the odds? Next up, we'll be doing our 14 15 Upper Deck Series 1. All hobby packs. The last one was all uh, retail. Shane Doan, Johan Franzen, Patrick Sharp. We have Shooting Stars, or Shining Stars rather, insert of. 
Tyler Sagan, Chris Higgins, Nick Bukestad, Justin Schultz, and Brian Elliott. All right. Okay, next up we have Ray Emery, Sean Horkoff, Dion Phaneuf, Marianne Hossa, Jimmy Howard, Hampus Lindholm, David DeHarnay, and Shining Stars of John Tavares. A lot of Shining Stars. What we want more of is Young Guns. Of guys named Drysdale. Dustin Bufflin, Pekka Rene, Ray Emery, Sean Monaghan, Kyle Turris, Laurie Korpikowski, Merika Zidlitschke, and upper deck canvas of Jonathan Taves. Alright, not too much out of these, these loose packs just yet, but the break is still young, and there are still many chances. Patrick Sharp, Carey Price, Tyler Johnson, Logan Couture, Dwight King, Andrew McDonald, I got bumped the camera, sorry about that. Chris Higgins, and we have Upper Deck Exclusives, number 66 of 100, Dougie Hamilton. Urbe's verdict? Eh, it's alright. He's a pretty good defenseman. Matt Carl. Zach Cassian. Nice little gap in the teeth there, I love it. <laughs> TJ Oshi. Derek Brassard, Nino Niederreiter, Carl Soderberg, Marcus Kruger, and Travis Hamanich. All base pack. All right, come on. We gotta get something here. Danny DeKeyser, Jacob Silverberg, Max Pacioretty, Evander Kane, Chris Letang, Brock Nelson, Dougie Hamilton, and the upper deck canvas of Antoine Vermette. All right. Yuri Chalusti, <laughs> Danny DeKeyser, Jacob Silverberg, identical pack, <laughs> Max Pacioretty, Brian Campbell, Ryan O'Reilly, Rob Klinkhammer, and Chris Kunitz. Oh, not too much coming out of this one yet either. Perhaps Loose Pass was not the best way to go. Tori Krug, Matt Carl, Zach Cassian, Mike Richards, Yarmer Yager. Oh, we have a different type of jersey card here, that's good. Um, upper Deck, Piece of History, 500 Gold Club, of Jerome Eginla. These aren't too easy of a hit. Let's see what the odds are on it. The odds? 1 in 3,456 packs. And we got one in 15 loose packs. It's not perfect condition, a little bit of a ding in the corner, but uh, I'll take it. It's not an easy hit. Urbe's verdict? Urbe approves. It's a tough hit. It's a good player. I'm not complaining, especially for loose packs. I'd be happy to get that jersey out of a box, much less a little loose pack. All right, okie dokie, next up. Alex Edler, Steven Stamkos, Brad Boys, Jonathan Bernier, Blake Wheeler, Derek Stepan, Alex Stalock, and Shining Stars Blue of Bobby Orr. Can't complain when you pull a Bobby Orr card. Bobby Orr's the best. Arguably. <laughs> Good, next up. We have Kerry Price, Tyler Johnson, Ryan Getzlaff, Nate Gennon, Blake Wheeler, Derek Stepan, Alex Stalock, and we have upper deck canvas of Anti Niemi. The Ginla hit though was quite nice from just some loose packs. I'm quite happy with that. 
Patrick Weirkosch, Jonas Enroth, Jeff Petrie, Bobby Ryan, Brent Seabrook, Anton Hudobin, Jimmy Howard, and Shining Stars of Mike Bossy. So we haven't gotten a young gun out of it yet, but we got a nice uh, Jerome McGinley jersey card from the 500 Gold Club set, which isn't the easiest to hit at all, but we'll see what more we can do here. Uh, Tyler Johnson, Ryan Getzlaff, Tommy Wingles, I believe he officially retired uh, this week here, Jacob Truba, uh, Dougie Hamilton, Radko Gudash, Kevin Bieksa, and another shining star, so Alexander Steen. You want to build the set? Today's a lucky day for that. So. All right. Next up, Kevin Shattenkirk, Claude Giroux, Troy Brower, Thomas Hickey, Rich Peverly, Mike Richards, Yaramir Yager, and hockey heroes of Yaramir Yager. Would be nice to get the autograph version, but hey, can't win them all. Next up, Ray Emery, Sean Horkoff, Dion Phaneuf, Marian Hossa, Mark Giordano, Andrew Ferenc, Milan Michalek, and Jordan Eberle. Ouch, not a single young gun that's from all these packs. Alright, next up, Brandon Dubinsky, Ryan Souter, Brad Marchand, Jared Spurgeon, or Spurgeon, however it's pronounced, I don't know. <laughs> Kyle Palmieri, Zemgus Girgensons, Mark Scheifele, and Upper Deck Exclusives, number 56 of 100, Nathan McKinnon. Not a bad player. Urbe's verdict? Yeah. For getting an Upper Deck Exclusives, I want it to be someone like a Nathan McKinnon, who is a star of the game. Next up, we're going to be moving on up to our Crown Royale. So this should be pretty fun. I believe every single pack has either a, an autograph or a memorabilia in it. So we have 10 of them. So this will make up for our lack of young guns, I am hoping. Okay. We've got Danny Heatley, Shane Doan, and the King's Men jersey of Danny Briere. Not numbered, no. Just Danny Briere jersey. Then we got Paul Bissonette, Red Parallel, and Michael Grabner. Alright, so not the most exciting first pack of it, but we continue on. All right, next up, we have Joe Thornton, Daniel Sedin, Zach Parise, Alex Petrangelo Red, and we have all the Kings men jersey of Jeff Carter. Not numbered. All right, lots of Kings men, not enough big kids. Okay, we have Ray Whitney, Jeff Skinner, Mike Fisher, we have insert Lords of the NHL of Patrick Kane, and we have autograph number 90 of 99, Curtis Glenn Cross. Urbe's verdict? No. Jerseys weren't the best, autograph is not the best. Yeah, we move on. Evgeny Malkin, Steve Eiserman. Mike Santarelli, in harm's way insert of Carey Price, and we have Heirs to the Throne jersey autograph number 54 of 100, Cody Eakin. Cody Eakin. Urbe's verdict. No, come on. I was almost excited when I saw the capital there that it was going to be Ovi, but it was not. Pavel Datsuk. Cam Neely, Lars Eller, in harm's way insert of Tomasz Lokun, 
and all the Kings men jersey, not numbered, of Derek Stepan. Or Baseford. No. Come on. This box is, or these loose packs are uh, rather cruel and unusual right now. Jason Spezza. Saku Koivu. Yaroslav Halak. Red Parallel. Nicholas Backstrom, the goalie. And Lords of the NHL jersey. Unnumbered. Zach Parise. Urbe's verdict? No. Same reasons as before. <laughs> okay, next up. Steve Mason. Ryan Getzlaff. Nicholas Backstrom, the player. Rookie of Jan Sove. Woohoo. And rookie autograph of Stefan Da Costa, Ottawa Senators. Nice card. Nice design. But. No, <clears throat> we can do so much better. Three more packs, let's hope for the best. Jerome McGinley, Sidney Crosby, Kerry Lettinen, Jimmy Howard, Red Parallel, and we have heirs to the throne jersey of Ryan Johansson with a nice little dinghy on the bottom. Burbage's verdict, no. Carey Price, Joe Pavelski, Alexander Brumistrov, Red Parallel of Zach Parise, and All the Kings Men jersey of George Peros. Urbe's verdict. His neck is hurting. No. <laughs> and last pack of this, and then, yeah. Cam Ward, Jason Spezza, Saku Koivu, we have rookie of Miko Koskinen, and we have rookie autograph of Roman Horak. Urbe's verdict. No. We take that's of course a gamble when we're talking about uh, getting any type of loose pack. You never know what's been already grabbed with uh, other people's luck. We'll do a quick recap here of our uh, memorabilia, serial numbered autograph, and other notable inserts if we have any. And then uh, tomorrow we'll be moving on up to some Between the Pipes. Alright, so from our break we ended up with some... Lots of inserts, rookies, but only the notable ones. So we ended up with a Bobby Orr, Shining Stars, uh, Blue. We ended up with an Artifacts Parallel of 999 of Zach Parise. We ended up with Upper Deck Exclusives cards of... Dougie Hamilton, as well as... Nathan McKinnon. <clears throat> Then we got some autographs of Curtis Glencross, Stefan da Costa, and Roman Horak. Then we got memorabilia cards of Danny Briere, Jeff Carter, Cody Eakin, Derek Stefan, Zach Parise, Ryan Johansson, George Peros. And a nice tough hit of Jerome Aginla. Urbe's verdict on our loose pack breaks from today. Eh. Literally the one card that saved the break here. Uh, maybe you could get the McKinnon in that group too though. Um, is the Jerome Aginla piece of history card. It's a tough hit. We managed to get it in only a few loose packs. Otherwise we didn't end up with any young guns. No real extraordinary hits otherwise. Until next time, have yourself an excellent day. Bye-bye.